Jalen, your last basket, I mean, to us, it looked like that should have been an and one. I'm not going to ask you to comment on the officiating, but we did see you talking to the refs after the game. Did they explain why they made that call at that time to you? Yeah, he said it wasn't a foul. That's really... Put it into a long story short, that's what he said. Yeah. In the fourth quarter, defensively, you know, what was missing there with the way Oklahoma City you came in and shot 78% after you guys had that 10-point lead? Yeah, they um they came out ready to play in the fourth. You know, they have they've been playing great all year, so um we knew we couldn't just you know walk into the fourth and leave, think it was going to be easy. Um, well coached, you know, well prepared. And, um, they got some players on that team. Mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of people think of uh, Shea and everything he's able to do, which is spectacular. But they got a lot of guys on that team that can make plays, you know, not just for himself, but for others. So um, yeah, they're really good. And um, a lot of respect and a lot of credit to them. This game tonight definitely had playoff vibes. I mean, can you take me through sort of like the mental side of what it's going to take to win these games down the stretch when these games mean a lot to every team that's still playing here? Um, yeah, we just got to be focused. We got to continue to prepare. And um, we can't just turn it on once playoffs start. And so um, obviously we're in a decent position, but we, got, we can't get comfortable. And um, that has to be our mindset going forward. I think they went on a 13-3 run at the top of the fourth when you were on the bench. Just what do you say in the minutes when you're on the bench that maybe can be improved upon? I mean, as a team, um, whether I'm out there or not, we need to be better. And, um, it starts with making free throws. It starts with, starts with not turning the ball over. So it um, doesn't really matter who's out there. And you know, we can't point blame anyone. But as a team, we need to be better. Jim, we're not, uh, not going to see you tomorrow. Just what are you guys learning about the about the heat last year facing them in the playoffs? Uh, I learned a lot. Um, I learned um, firsthand what their culture is about. Um, after being with Spolstra all summer, understanding his mindset and how he's wired, you know, um, they have a really Really cool thing down there, you know. Obviously, the fans call it a rivalry and everything. And then when we play, it's always a battle. But um, nothing but respect for what they do. The conversation at the end there is that just about that call? I'm sorry. The conversation at the end with the refs is it just about that call, or, or is it more than that? Do you hope that could kind of impact how you're officiating moving forward? It doesn't. I don't. I don't think it's going to impact anything going forward. I just had a question about that, and then that was it. And moved on. What did you think about just the, the way the final two plays played out with Jalen getting the bucket and then Shea hitting it? We're going to see in the last two minutes uh, report. We'll see. Or maybe the pool report. Do y'all question them, right? Are y'all pool report? So, is that, is that you know, something you Somebody? think that's a foul. Should have been called a foul. It wasn't a foul. You'll see. Huh? You, you guys took a 10 point lead into that fourth quarter. Just uh, how tough is that to see that go and two losses like the San Antonio overtime mm -hmm. in this one last second? I was extremely frustrated. Um, we got to figure out a way to, um, you know, when, when JV's out to get um, good looks, quality looks, good guys in the proper position, play to their strengths. Uh, I think that's one of the big things. So, um, you know, uh, look at it and, and see what, what we can do better. Not just tonight, but do you see any common themes about how Jalen gets officiated? Do you think they miss some things? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's, but what do you think? I see some missed calls. Yeah, I mean, um, don't don't understand it, but you know that's for the 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 NBA and the the refs to to look at and you know see if there's anything there, or, you know, missed calls or not missed calls. So um, you know, all we got to do, all we can do is just play hard and you know, you know. <coughs> Try to control the game as much as we can. I think that's a, well, I got one more. That's a that's a good Thunder team over there, and you guys one shot away from winning that game without three of your key players. Are you, are you able to look at it like that at all, or is it? Um, nah, I mean I, I'm looking at it like um, this is a team that we're gonna have. You know, uh, you know, I, I think that's how you know 
we have to approach it, you know, that, that those guys, um, you know, aren't coming back. And then obviously we'll be pleasantly surprised if they come back. So, um, you know, I'm not in those medical conversations or anything like that, but, um, you know, we got to approach it every game and the end of the season that, you know, those guys aren't coming back. And if they, they do be, be pleasantly surprised.